the tunnel boy. Got it. Be careful. Tests. Wars must have carved these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Well, good for me, anyway. Oh, come on! That is not helping. See you on the other side. stuck in that wall. Can you get it free? How much farther do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. 
Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. Adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. Like a root of the Yggdrasil tree. Is that a sap? Crystallized sap. And there is power inside. Incredible! I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, 
The air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you.
plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. We did it. And you! Ah! Uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me. And that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy! I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um, oh, how do I explain it? I've added it. Oh, I see. You figured it out on your own then. Just, never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just anything to help you. 
Yep. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't 